guys, let me let me let me paint um let me paint a top eh? Ask Elizabeth, okay? I'm trying to do a live video. Alright, let me try and paint the topic. Um never ever be with a man that will destroy you psychologically listen listen guys okay this is the problem i always have okay okay i'm gonna post it and then i'm gonna pin my top I am trying to pin the topic. <laughs> I still suck. I still suck at this live video thingy. And I'm wearing makeup today. I'm wearing um fake live makeup, um filter makeup. <sighs> All right, so I have um just a few things that consign me that I want to talk about you know I get lazy lazier by the day guys I won't even lie it's not easy I am now I think I feel officially pregnant now <laughs> if there's anything like that okay so yesterday hmm, I saw myself well, not yesterday, but I chose to not talk about it all this while because I felt there's no need talking about it. You know, people have been trying to dig out some random men that I don't know anything about and say they are the ones who are my baby daddies. I, first and foremost, Nigeria is, Nigeria is funny. Nigeria is funny. And I don't know why I'm in this part of the world where there's no freedom of expression there's no freedom you can't do what you want to do you can't live your life the way you want to live your life so long as the people who love you support you okay first they brought out one footballer one ex-footballer who doesn't play ball anymore and said he's my baby daddy i thought it was a joke i didn't i didn't say anything i didn't even like seriously mind but then again, yeah, day before yesterday, they brought out some friend of mine, um, Pex, and said, Pex is my baby daddy. I don't know where all that is coming from. You just bring a random man and say he's, he's the owner of somebody's pregnancy from the blue, you know. I tried to ignore that one. Before I knew it, they brought out. They brought out my baby daddy and said, he's my baby daddy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he's my baby daddy. Mm -hmm. The last one Stella brought out is my baby daddy. But the thing is, I don't know what, what crime I have committed. I don't know what I did. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I have done wrong. Because, you know, in this life, you run your, you run your race. As it suits you right obviously I'm not an ugly woman and obviously I have men who come after me I have men asking me out and everything but maybe they're not what I want right they're not what I want growing up I had my idea of a man the kind of man that I want to be with the kind of life that I want for myself you know, I don't know if this filter is making everything dark. Why well, should just turn on the light? Sorry. And I'm not sweating today. The AC is on. For some bastards, I'll say I don't have light. I have light though. <clears throat> so growing up, 
I had my idea of the kind of man that I want to be with. And that is a man that makes me extremely happy. A man that makes me extremely happy. I am not a materialistic woman. I am not about so many things that you can give me. I am not the kind of woman you want to keep me in a mansion, buy me a Lamborghini, and just that's it. Okay? And then come home to me whenever you want. I'm not that kind of woman. I am a woman. I am a builder woman. I am a woman who builds. And I am an independent woman who believes in hard work. You know, because when, 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 when I was a child, I saw so many, so many things with my eyes that I decided that that's not what I want from myself. I built my examples from my aunties, my parents, people around me. I grew up in a public yard, so I saw different kinds of marriages. I saw different kinds of relationships. You understand? And then I saw different kinds of abuse from men. In fact, from, from couples. Even my own parents, they painted a picture for me. And then I was able to decide that, is this what I truly want? I don't want to be abused. I don't want to be in, a, in an unhappy relationship just because I want to be in a, in, in a relationship. No matter how old you guys think I am, you know, I don't want to be with someone who morally, who psychologically destroys me. I have, I have done it in the past. I have dated a couple of guys. I've dated um, from footballers. I've dated um, guys who have money, so, many, so much money. I've dated politicians. And then when I say dating, I don't mean sleeping with. I mean dating. For like a year, two years three years and i know what i saw okay i never saw happiness even from my ex my former baby daddy he never made me happy he was the worst of them all but i am not the kind of woman who comes online and talks about my relationship or my ex my former relationship i was pregnant this is my second child as i always say what that man did to me I don't think any woman will survive it. What my ex did to me. It will take a village. A village. To survive it. And this is psychologically because he never laid a hand on me. It's not about beating me. He didn't beat me. But he almost killed me. He almost destroyed the human being that I am. He almost ruined me, my ex. And why? Because I trusted him. Because I believed, I believed in, I believe in, you know, maybe I'm a fool. Or maybe, maybe I don't know how to calculate things, you know. Maybe I always fall for the wrong man, like they always say, you know. Maybe that, but... Well, now I think I know what I want better. And then, after everything I've been through, after all I've been through and I survived, I'm in a better place in my life right now. I am the happiest I've ever been in my life right now. Somebody, somewhere, will come out and castigate me and say that I am dating a teenager. A teenager! It will not be well with you. It will not be well with you because you don't wish me well. You people, you always come out and say uh, and and be like you 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 love someone, you love celebrities, you care about their lives, but you don't care. You don't care what we go through. You don't think that we're humans. You know, you don't think that we have a life and we need to protect our lives. You don't think that we deserve to be happy. I am pregnant with a man who is a complete man, who is above 25. And then you call him a small boy. You insult me and say that I'm older than him. How can I be dating a teenager? Listen, that guy has made me happy. Okay? And I have no apology for it. He has made me happy. All the while I was with him, I never... I never cried. 
like cry. But I know that I have been, in, I've been in a relationship with older men, men who give me 20 years. I've dated a guy who, who is older, older, older than me by 20 years. Because then I used to believe that you need a father figure in a relationship. You need, you need a father figure. You need someone who, who, who can, who can uh, you know, help you, build you. And I always believed there were older men. People who can control you. Yeah? And I've dated a guy who's 20 years older than me. And he never impacted nothing in my life. He never did anything for me. Mentally, he never, he never, he abused me, he lied to me, he lied. I've dated a guy who is 10 years older than me. It didn't work. I dated a guy who is 8 years older than me. Many times, I've never dated a guy who I'm older than. This is actually the first time I tried it. And you know why I tried it? A friend of mine said to me, which are all these men you're dating, they're always older men, but this AC is crazy. Sorry. They're always older men, but at the end of the day, it don't work. Uche, you're a great woman. Why don't you try your mates? Why don't you come down a little bit and, and try someone maybe within your age range? Maybe it's going to work. And this is my best friend. She advised me. Said to me, I said, but I can never be with a younger man. I've never done it before. I, I cannot. She said, try it. My husband is just is is like my mate. She's married. My husband is just like one year older than me. You know, and we're living happy. Why don't you try someone within the age range? And I said, okay. I used to see a guy who is 30 years old as a child. I used to see a guy who is 30, 31 as babies because I'm used to dating my grandpas, grandfathers, thinking that's the best decision for me. But all these grandfathers, what they do is demoralize me, make me understand that I am not special, make me understand that there's nothing in me that the strength that I feel that I have, I don't have it. Then I, I decided to drive with a younger person. You know, if I'm not strong, if I'm not strong, I might not even be here now. Because as time goes on, I learn every day. I learn. And then I like to use my life, things that I go through to teach women, you know, to empower women. I like to, to use experiences that I pass through, things that happen in my life. I don't, I don't educate people with what happens in other people's life. I educate people with what happens in my life. I have never felt this happy, been this beautiful. You guys know me. You guys, you guys have followed me for so long. I've never been this self-confident with an older guy. Sorry, I said what I said. All the older men that I dated. 
What did they do for me? Maybe I met the wrong people. They're the, the good ones out there. But at least I was in, in numerous relationships in the past. What they did was beat me down. The last one said to me, Would you look at you? Look at how you are. Look at you. You're not fine. Look at you. You're big. You need to lose weight. If you don't do this, I can't be with you. I can't be with you. A man said that to me. A man I loved. A man that I did everything for. A man that, 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 that lives in a mansion and owns, own, owns cars. A man that I will clean his mansion from, from top to bottom. A man that I supported said to me, at your age, look at, look at your shape. Look at you're shapeless. You're shapeless. I can't be with you. I can't be with you. You need to walk on it. That was the last. That was that. That was the last for me. That was the last straw for me. And I looked at him and I was laughing. This man used to try to beat me. This man used to to try to strangle me, strangle me. If he gets angry, he he, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. What the fuck? What the fuck you guys do all this for? Try to abuse me. And then I looked at him and I made up my mind that I was going to work on myself. I was going to work on myself and I am not going to be with you anymore. I never said it to him. And then I put in work. I worked on myself. I worked on myself so hard. He was my motivation every day. He cheated on me. He did so many things. I can't even remember. Because he felt, oh, I have a lot of women, which is just one of them. He never respected me. I walked on myself. I walked on myself and I became hot. I became hot and I look at myself in the mirror and I feel beautiful. You know, you guys judge me every day. Uche Wada did this. Uche Wada did that. Uche Wada, because I don't talk. Because I don't come online every day and, and lament about my life and talk about how bad things are with me. Because I'm always about positivity. You guys hate me. But shit, I have things happening to me back there. Things that I have to deal with every day. Things that help me grow to be who I, who I want to be. Then I became so hot, I did my nude shoots. I did my birthday shoot to, to praise, to give, to... I did it for myself, okay? I didn't do my nude shoot for anybody. I did it for myself. Because if I can look like that, without surgery... If I can look like that, flat tummy, nice body and all, I can show the world that I can be whatever I want to be. Was my motivation. I did it. And this bastard came back to me. And said, you're my wife. You're your wife what? Who is your wife? Are you, are you an idiot? Who is your wife? You can't leave me. You can't leave me. I left you long ago. I fucking left your ass long ago. You don't abuse me. You don't try to bring me down. Why do we women do this to ourselves? You know, you be with a man who every day constantly bring you down. Bring you down. Tell you how ugly you are. Tell you how unworthy you are. Tell you how you can amount to anything. What gave him the right to say that? You. You need to be with a man who supports you. You need to be with a man who will build you up. You need to be with a man who tells you how beautiful, how strong you are every day. You need to be with a man who motivates you. Why do we always put ourselves in the middle of abuse and then we shout and say, I'm being abused, somebody help me. You will help yourself. Not every woman is strong, I know. Not every woman is as strong as me. Not every woman can stand their feet and say, 
I will change this. Not everybody. But don't let people, don't let anybody tell you you cannot be what you know that you can be. Don't stay in that relationship and endure and, and torture. Don't stay in that relationship with that abusive man and endure torture. Endure mental slavery. Endure every day. You cry every day because you want to live in a mansion. What the fuck? You can build your own mansion. Girl, you can be whatever you want to be. And that man will come eating out of your pants. Put your ass together and dump his ass. I'm laughing at you people that are telling me, ah, who just baby daddy? Who just baby daddy what? What did the poor guy do to you? Since I started dating him, I've been, I've been happy. He has never abused me for one day. He has never. I've never cried a tear. A tear. I've never cried. He has never given me reasons to doubt myself. That I'm not enough. That is the man right there. Leave me alone, you people. Ucho bodo, ucho bodo, ucho bodo, ucho bodo. Child abuse, child abuse. What the fuck is child abuse? He's a full grown man. He's almost 30. He's a full grown man. Leave him alone. Bloggers are having a few day with me. Ucho is dating a younger man. And so, a younger man that provides peace and joy to me. A younger man that makes me feel like I want to feel as I'm building my life. As I'm growing. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. I don't give a fuck. Stop carrying my name up and down, please. You people should leave me alone. Everybody has struggles that they go through every day. You people should leave me alone. Auntie Stella, leave me alone, self. Leave me alone. I will use my life to teach other women. Please, I wish I can come to everybody because ever since I did the last video, I've gotten a hundred DMs. Women are really going through a lot. A lot that we don't talk about. So many women are in the wrong relationship because of society. So many women are with the wrong men. Your life is just one. One life. And you will destroy yourself just because you want to be married. Because you want to answer me, sis. Are you okay? Are you alright? Ha! I don't understand you people. So far they sweet you. How can you be with a man who uses mortar? Mortar to... Pisu, not mortar. Pisu to beat you. Pisu. How many bones there, buddy? How can you be with a man who looks at you every day and he never touches you? He never has sex with you. Year to year. Month to month. And he's going outside sleeping with other women. How can you be with a man who looks at you and tells you you're disgusting? Do you, do you people know that people's partners do this shit? Tell you you're disgusting. A man who never supports your ambition. A man who wants you to remain a housewife. You should have your own money. Yo. Women, work hard so you can have your own money. Because when you have your own money, you will stop a lot of bullshit. Before that man tell you something, I better leave my face. Not be my face with the talk for you. They see they they on. Uh, uh, wait till they talk. They make me sweat. I'm pregnant, though, guys. I'm pregnant. I'll be sweating. Please, you push. You leave me alone. Every time, every time you're sweating, you're sweating. AC is on. AC is on. AC is on. These people. I will keep myself. Oma, please. Leave that man, no. Money is not everything, no. Even some of them don't even have money. But they have, you know, held these women as captives. You're now a victim in your own relationship. Going through constant abuse. Please don't be with a man that, destroy, that will destroy you. Be with a man that will build you. You see this, this man... That gave gave me belly. 
He might not be heaven. Or, he might not be the richest in the world. He might not be Dangote. But he has given me peace of mind. Peace of mind. I've had peace of mind. And I have been working on myself. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't stress me. I don't go through emotional torture. So you people say, oh, Uche, you're not a noise maker. Oh, Uche, you're not a happy girl. Oh, Uche, you're not beautiful. Yes. Because I don't like stress in my life. Any man that will stress me, please, get the fuck out. With all your money, whatever you think you have. I don't give a fuck. I just want peace. Can you give women peace? Give women peace. Let people be themselves. We, 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 we jeopardize ourselves and then we put ourselves in situations that we, we might not even come out of. Every day. So many women die every day. Go to my DM. I don't even know how to attend to all these issues. I don't know when I turn guidance counselor. My DM is full. These women think I'm their savior that I can help them. How am I going to help you? It is only you that can help yourself. Say no. I can't take it anymore. Say no. I'm not going to be in this. I'm going to change this. This is how I survive. That is my survival tactics. I don't stay in penury. I don't stay in pain. Because of what? There are a million men in the world. A million. If he tells you he's, he's the best thing that ever happened to you, you will never get another man. That's a fucking big lie. The moment you step out there, you get another man. Just the way you will get another woman. There are a million people all over the place. Don't let any man tell you he's the best thing that ever happened to you. He's not. You are the best thing that will ever happen to you. When you say no to abuse, abuse don't happen. When you say no to people trying to destroy you and people trying to bring you down, those people will start to respect you. Listen. I don't care if you people um, think um, my posts and uh, my, the things that I share on social media, they're not up to it. But then, let me tell you something. I'm one of the strongest women this industry will provide. And I'm one of the realest women that you can learn anything from. I might not do so much, but the little I do will impact people's lives. Please, somebody show me and go and tell Auntie Stella. Leave me alone. Leave me with my life and my choices. It is what I want to do. In fact, stop. It is a baby. It is a baby. Is that baby that I like? Oh, is that baby that is the father of my child? Leave that baby alone. No. You people should leave me alone. What is all this? So I can, I can take a man that is 20 years older than me. But a guy that I'm 3 years or 4 years older than, I cannot date him. Turn the fire, you people. Turn the fire, you people. That man is, that man, that man controls me. Do you know the kind of control that I'm talking about? I don't, I don't control him. Oh. You people think he's a man. Because when I met him, I thought he was 40. When I met him, I thought he was 40. He didn't make me feel like I'm dating, I'm dating, I'm dating a man that, that, that I'm dating a baby. He has his own mind. He does his own thing. Leave me alone. All these men that are dated 10 years old, old, older than me, 20 years older than me, they are so childish. They are so childish. Many of them don't even reason well. Many of them are not even mature. Many of all these 50-something-year-old men, they are babies. 
The way they will reason for you here, you'll be shocked. But this one is late 20s, and then I will not hear what. How old am I? Am I your grandma? Are you people crazy? Uchobodo, Uchobodo. Uchobodo, Uchobodo. I will not hear what. Uchobodo, Uchobodo. When I did not snatch anybody's husband. When nobody has ever called me and said, Uche, yo, I can never even be in that kind of relationship. I don't snatch people's men. I'm not among actresses, women that, that, that destroy other women's relationships. Please. You should leave me out of it. I am a good woman at heart. I do what pleases God first. At least I'm happy. At least I'm not dead. Are you not happy that I'm not dead? Are you not happy that I'm proudly having my kid? Did I did anybody's husband give me us give me baby? Please, I don't want all this, please. I don't I don't I don't care. People should just let me be and, and do my thing. This life now one. If you if you go, I don't know if you're coming back. Okay, I don't know about reincarnation, but at least I know that this one that I'm leaving, I'm going to make it worth it, and I'm going to be happy. I'm not gonna be sad. If you want to be with a woman like me, you better up your game. You better not abuse me, cause I'm not the kind of woman you abuse. I will dump your ass and mess you up. I don't know how women deal with this shit. Pexy Cage is not the father of my child, though. Please, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know where you people got all that information from. What's that? Spreading rumors up and down. Trying to, to, to believe two people. Which blogger was that nonsense blogger that's talking rubbish about me? They say one ex-footballer is my baby daddy. Where are you people getting all that nonsense from? You people should leave me alone, no. Please, I'm not happy. I'll come back when I'm, I'm a little bit happy. I'll talk to you guys later.